Meanwhile, a Walker County corrections officer suspended without pay accused in his own son's murder. Good evening. I'm Latricia Thomas and I'm Calvin Sneed. According to court documents, the father and son pair had a history of physically fighting with each other. Hannah Lawrence joins us now live to tell us why the two often butted heads. Hannah. Kevin and Latricia, because Pat Wooten worked for Walker County, where he was arrested in that shooting, he's now being held in Catoosa County Jail. Arrest warrants show that he and his son Lance fought for about a range of issues, ranging from Lance's ex-wife and cars and trucks. Facebook pictures show Lance Wooten and his young daughter, whose identity we're protecting tonight. His high school friend Nathan Cook says social media is how the two kept up with each other, but he actually ran into Wooten a couple of months ago. And I'd asked him, I was like, you staying out of trouble, you know, he's, he's had some issues since, you know, we graduated. Several domestic issues, according to court documents. Arrest warrants tell story after story about physical fights that happened between Wooten and his father here at their home. The latest just two months ago. This is also the place investigators say Lance Wooten ultimately ended up shot to death on Saturday. Those who knew him say... I thought it'd be the other way around. I thought somebody, he'd kill somebody, you know, instead of them killing him. Before Wooten moved back in with his parents, Clyde Caldwell says he rented this extra house to Wooten, his then wife, and their little girl. Caldwell says they would often run to neighbors' houses to call the police and hide from Wooten. I heard him over hollering, say, I didn't hit you, I didn't hit you, you know. Caldwell says the couple's daughter would often stay with her grandma and grandpa, Wooten's parents. Now he's concerned about her growing up without a father and and a grandfather sitting in jail. We still don't know what led up to the fight and that shooting that happened on Saturday. We stopped by the family's house today and the people who were there didn't want to talk with us. Reporting live in Catoosa County, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Thanks, Hannah. We are waiting to hear what Wooten, when he will be in court and when we find out, 